guys. So as you might know, Humane came out recently and this is a movie that I saw the concept for I wanted to watch. Coming out in April 2024, Humane features Jay Baruchel, Peter Gallagher, Emily Hampshire. The plot is what made me incredibly excited. Dying makes all the difference in the world. In the wake of an environmental collapse that has forced humanity to shed 20% of its population, a family dinner erupts into chaos when a father's plan to enlist in the government's new euthanasia program goes horribly wrong. This is the debut film from Caitlin Cronenberg. And I feel like she follows in the footsteps of other Cronenberg films with a lot of societal commentary. Overall, I enjoyed the movie. I did have issues with it. I gave this a two and a half out of five stars on Letterboxd. I just wanted to delve into this one a little bit more because I, it's one that I haven't stopped thinking about and I feel like the potential was there but it just wasn't fully reached. So this movie follows four siblings who go to their father's house for dinner in the midst of this ecological collapse. And you see it, you see that they have these UV umbrellas and protections on their car. And you see that the UV rays are like really high. So they have to be very careful and they have to run in. You see on the news that Jay Baruchel is a anthropologist who is sitting here talking in favor of the government's program to have people enlist in this euthanasia program. And if they die, if they choose to die to help the world population, then they're given $250,000 tax-free to help set up their family or to get them out of debt. So obviously you go into this thinking that most of the people who enlist are going to be below the poverty line or low income earners, people who have to stand outside to get water and to get their basic needs met. And that's where I think the concept was so cool because you have this worldwide problem where every country has one year to decrease their population by 20%. And you see some countries, I think it was Russia, is like, yeah, we did it ahead of schedule, not a problem at all. And you see how all these countries are enforcing this. So you have this worldwide problem, but then it focuses in on one family. And it is definitely a rich family. And their father, who is played by Peter Gallagher, says, hey, I've enlisted, your stepmom has enlisted, we're gonna die, just wanted to let you guys know. They're having reactions and then there's a knock at the door, they're here to do it tonight. Stepmom leaves because she can't do it, so one of the siblings has to take her place because they are there for two York bodies. And it essentially just evolves into a who is the most deserving of a life. Two of the siblings have children. One of them is an actress. One of them is adopted. One of them is an addict. So you see how quickly people turn on each other. The concept was strong. I think also the fact that it was such a enclosed thriller, it was also very strong. It allowed for a lot of tension to come out between the siblings. That being said, I think that it was a lot of very quick reactions and by that I mean it was a very quick like oh we have to choose one of us you it's obviously you it's you the no kidding it's you and it was very quick to get everybody on board for that and then also very quick to get everybody off board for that the shifting motives weren't fleshed out or earned like there was no true real effective and convincing motivations to turn on this one person for several of the siblings. And then there was also none of that to get back on their side. Honestly, the writing just wasn't super, super strong. And if the script was better and the motivations were better and things were just fleshed out a little bit more, I think that this could have been a crazy effective movie because it had the gore and it had like these little offshoot kind of humorous moments with the daughter character and then the guy who was there to euthanize these two people just in this truck playing cards and she's like just why are you doing this to my family and he's like I don't know man it's just the state of the world it's just my job I think the ending could have been stronger and it's disappointing right because it's such a good commentary on like I eat the rich and societally if something like this were to happen because it doesn't seem super out of the realm of possibilities but what would happen it seems realistic. It just, I wish that realism of the situation was carried into the dinner and the conversations that were happening in the dinner. And 
like none of the characters seem super nuanced they all seemed very like i'm a bad guy i'm a bad guy i'm a good guy i'm a good guy and i wish that there was more nuance to the characters that being said i'm really excited to see what caitlin cronenberg comes out with next i think that this entire family is very very creative and i think it was an okay debut movie i would like to see what happens with more budget and more of a fleshed out idea behind it though if you have seen humane let me know what you guys thought. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye guys.